and there's a slight breeze and it makes me happy. A lot has happened this year and we're coming into a new year. I decided I'd make a nice soup and while I was cooking, I was reminiscing about the year, about the heartache, about the blessings, about everything that has come and things that are changing. I don't know what the new year is gonna bring us, but I am gonna turn over a new leaf. I am gonna do things different and I am gonna be positive. And I hope the same for you. I'll start by taking down my Christmas decorations and getting ready for the new year. Alright friends, I have taken down all the decorations. I left the tree up, the baby was having a fit, my other boys were having a fit, and I said fine, I will leave the tree for you guys. And I put the white Christmas tree skirt back under this tree. Uh, if you saw the last video, you know that I used it for my table for a Christmas dinner. So we already had Christmas dinner, and I thought, well, if you wanna keep the tree, let's just keep it everything kinda neutral. So I decided to um, leave it white since all of the decorations that I'm putting up for New Year's are going to be um, silver, gold, and um, the white. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put this up. Isn't this so pretty? So that's the garland and I have these, which you guys know I use these for my gingerbread theme. And so I'm going to do something special with these for the New Year to ring it in. Now I had went to Dollar Tree and they had no Happy New Year's Eve items at all. I was super surprised, but my creativity came into play and I wanted to share with you what you could do if your Dollar Tree does not have any Happy New Year stuff. So here I decided to buy um, all of these. So these pom-poms, I bought big ones, I bought um, the tiny ones, and then I bought this silver fan. Dollar Tree usually has these appetizer bowls, and I love the fact that there was three already together, so I picked that up, and I picked up all of this yummy candy, and I just started taking it out and putting it in there for my kids and I, and I don't like to get the cheap candy sometimes. Sometimes I'll pay that dollar for just the bar. I really think it's worth it. It tastes super good. So what I've done here, I already put my confetti stars down, and then I started breaking up the chocolate. I put the pretzels. Um, yeah, there was so much chocolate and my little boy kept coming over and taking it but um, the turtles are all broken up so you don't really have to touch them if you're worried about food handling but everything turned out super good i absolutely love this space and i only did my living room because that's where we usually sit for the countdown I did go to Home Goods and pick up those candles and they are so beautiful. They really make the place. Um, they were $20, not that bad, and they're you know electric. And the two trees that you see on the side, I've had these for over five years. Um, they just always make my New Year's space look really good. So they are used quite often. You will find this all in the birthday party aisle, especially those circles. Oh my gosh, I thought those were so cute and they definitely scream New Year's, don't you think? So this space is absolutely ready for New Year's. I'm super excited and I already got the wine glasses out and I have the non-alcoholic beverages there for me and the kids. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you have a happy, happy New Year.